Hi, welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. Today we are going to discuss another integration question. In fact, uh, my friend tell me about this question and we have taken this question from the Facebook group Math Facts. Actually, this is an interesting question. Okay, let's begin. Okay, this is an triple integral. Uh, also, you know about properties of natural log. So, we can write this is as three separate integrals. So, we can write I1 is equal to 0 to 1 0 to 1 1 over 1 plus y square 1 plus z square and 0 to 1 natural log of 1 plus x over 1 plus x square dx dy dz also we can write i2 is equal to from 0 to 1 0 to 1 1 over 1 plus x square 1 plus c square and 0 to 1 natural log of 1 plus y over 1 plus y square dx dy dz and i3 is equal to from 0 to 1 0 to 1 1 over now 1 plus x square and 1 plus y square from 0 to 1 natural log of 1 plus c over 1 plus z square dx dy dz and then if we take i1 plus i2 plus i3 so this is equal to this integral so if we take this is equal to i so i1 plus i2 plus i3 is equal also i okay now we are going to evaluate i1 actually these are symmetric integrals so if we evaluate i1 it is equal to i2 and i3 because definite integration is independent of the variable okay now take i1 so i1 is equal to integral from 0 to 1 1 over 1 plus y square and 1 plus z square from 0 to 1 natural log of 1 plus x over 1 plus x square dx dy dz okay now we're going to evaluate uh, this integral so if we take this is equal to j so we can write j is equal to from 0 to 1 natural log of 1 plus x over 1 plus s square dx okay now we can evaluate this integral by using substitution method so if we take x is equal to tan of theta so differentiate with respect to theta so we can write six square theta d theta and now we want to change the limit so, so x approaches to zero so theta approaches to also zero and when x approaches to 1 so theta approaches to uh, tan of so 5 over 4 so now we can write from now 0 to upper limit 5 over 4 natural log of 1 plus tan of theta over 1 plus tan square of theta now dx is equal to six square of theta d theta and now we know one plus tan square of theta is equal to six square of theta so this term get cancelled and now we have zero to five over four natural log of one plus tan of theta so we can apply this theory so zero to a f of x dx is equal to from zero to a minus x dx so we can write from 0 to 5 over 4 natural log of 
वन प्लस टेन फाइव ओ फोर माइनस थीटा टी थीटा एंड नाउ वी नो जीरो टू फाइव ओ फोर नेचुरल लॉग ऑफ वन प्लस नाउ टेन फाइव ओ फोर माइनस टेन ऑफ थीटा सो टेन फाइव ओ फोर वी नो दिस इज इक्वल टू वन सो माइनस टेन ऑफ थीटा ओवर वन प्लस टेन ऑफ फाइव ओ फोर सो वन टाइम्स टेन ऑफ थीटा डी थीटा नाउ वी कैन सिंप्लीफाई दिस सो जीरो टू फाइव ओ फोर नेचुरल लॉग ऑफ नाउ वन प्लस टेन ऑफ थीटा प्लस वन माइनस टेन ऑफ थीटा ओवर वन प्लस टेन ऑफ थीटा डी थीटा नाउ प्लस टेन थीटा माइनस टेन थीटा गेट कैंसल एंड फ्रॉम जीरो टू फाइव ओ फोर नेचुरल लॉग ऑफ वन प्लस वन टू ओवर वन प्लस टेन ऑफ थीटा डी थीटा and according to properties of natural log we can write from 0 to 5 over 4 natural log of 2 d theta and minus from 0 to 5 over 4 natural log of 1 plus tan of theta d theta so now we know this is equal to j so we can write 2 times j is equal to now natural log of 2 times theta from 0 to 5 over 4 okay now i write this place so 2 times j is equal to natural log of 2 times so 5 over 4 minus 0 so 5 over 4 so j is equal to 5 over 8 natural log of 2 Okay, now we evaluated j, so j is equal to five over eight natural log of two, and we know our integral i one is equal to from zero to one, from zero to one, one over one plus y square times one plus z square, and from zero to one. Natural log of one plus x over one plus the square dx dy dz, and now we evaluated this integral. So now we can write from zero to one, zero to one, one over one plus y square, one plus z square, and this is equal to. Phi over eight natural log of two d y d z. So now we can write phi over eight natural log of two, and from zero to one, one over one plus y square d y, and from zero to one, one over one plus z square d z. And phi over eight natural log of two, and we know this is inverse tan. So inverse tan y from zero to one, and this is also inverse tan from zero to one. Okay, now we can plug in the limits. So uh, if we plug in y, so tan inverse one is equal to Phi over four and minus uh, plug in zero so zero and this is also equal to phi over four minus zero. Okay, finally this is equal to phi over eight times natural log of two four times phi over four times phi over four so phi to the third power natural log of two over eight times four so thirty two thirty two times Four, so one to eight plus eight, so one to eight. So now we evaluated i one. So we know i is equal to i one plus i two plus i three. Okay, now if we evaluate i two and i three, we have 
same value so we can write 5 to the third power over 1 to 8 natural log of 2 times 3 okay this is equal to 3 times 5 to the third power natural log of 2 over 1 to 8 okay this is the answer if you like this video please subscribe this channel thank you for watching